practice gets here, we'll be ready to roll. And and uh, but I'm very very excited. There's been too much too much talking going on and and this and that, and everybody's excited, which is great. I'm excited too. Uh, but now it's about let's go strap it up and let's see what we got. Is there a certain number of practices you have in mind that you want a starter to be named ahead of the first game like this quarterback? Do you, you want a guy to, to know at least a week or two? Ahead yeah, of me and Coach Morrill, so we'll talk about that as a lot as we go. Um, what we hope is somebody emerges, you know, quicker than or sooner than later. Uh, we want a guy that, that'll emerge and, and start being the guy and, and hey, everybody knows this is the guy we're going with and they'll start rallying, rallying behind. Um, I know everybody's interested, you guys are interested, um, the fan base is interested, the players are interested, um, and I think that's very important to get, to get that guy to emerge and, and, and let's name one and let's, let's roll with him. Uh, but again, like I said about the whole Colton in, injury, you know, whoever it is, the next guy's one play away. So you gotta prepare as if you're the starter, regardless if you get named or not. Uh, you got to prepare like you're the star because you're one play away from from being the guy again. Is there a sense that the team selects the quarterback in terms of who plays better for that guy? Who rallies the team around better? Well, you know, I don't know if this will answer your question, but one of the things we're really looking for is, you know, which guy goes out there and the other ten guys get better. You know, and uh, if that answers your question or not, but you know, if. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a consistent quarterback that can consistently put his team in the end zone every time he's out there, whether if it's Ty with the ones or Ty with the twos or Cole with the ones or Cole with the twos or John Steven with the threes or the ones, whoever he gets rest. Who puts the ball in the end zone consistently? Because that's what everybody wants to see in our offense is us putting points on the board and, and winning a lot of football games. You know, the Michael Padlet is already kind of a physically impressive looking kid before he goes through the summer workouts and then find out he's down to seven percent body fat just mm -hmm. how, how impressed are you by him very impressed i mean just like all of our guys they've all bought in um we have not had a, had a, had an issue of a guy really not buying in if we had it's been minor and those guys may not be here anymore um but you know just like petway i mean everybody's buying in and that whole receiver room i mean you talk about petway you can talk about jared cornelius I mean, those, all those guys have changed their body and they've all bought in, they've all had a great summer. Um, but now we just got to find out, you know, how it translates in football, you know. Uh, you're not, you're going to win games, yeah, by, by training the right way, um, but you're going to win games on the football field. So um, let's see how it translates this from this summer to fall camp and, and hopefully he's ready to go as well as our other receivers because we're going to need all of them. Talking about a quarterbacks and trying to figure that out, you got a lot of positions still to figure out. Consistency, mm -hmm. how big is that? Maybe the first week or two of practice, figuring out who's going to be the consistent guy that you can put at each position. Yeah, it's it's all about that. Um, you know, and, and knowing our scheme. Like I said, you know, we, um, you know, coming back, the NCAA allows us to meet with our guys. And so coming back from summer and getting a chance to meet with our guys and really find out what they know. I mean, it was it was very impressive to find out what they retained from spring and what they worked on in, in summer on their own. Um, I did not want to go back to day one from the spring and that's from an install standpoint. I did not want to do that day one of fall camp. And what those guys have done is a tribute to their hard work and their uh, motivation to get this team back on the right track. And um, was very excited to see that those guys had, had really learned a lot this summer and really had helped the young guys along as well. Um, but we're, we're, you know, again, we're not going to go back to day one uh, of spring ball, day one of in, uh, day one in fall, fall camp. So I'm excited about that, excited about what else we can add, uh, get those tools in the toolbox in case we need them. So with the summer, I'm assuming they went back and did everything you guys did in the spring. Was there anything else you guys added for them to work on, or was it just def refining what they did in the spring? You know, again, in those in those meetings we're allowed to have, we installed a couple things. Uh, and it's actually been here recently. I wanted them to go back June and July and really do what we did in the spring, really get good at what we put in on their own. And they did a really good job with that. So when we got back and I kind of felt like, hey, these guys have done a heck of a job. Um, we went ahead and added a couple concepts and, and we'll add a couple more come fall camp. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm again, I'm extremely excited about what those guys retained all through the spring and all through the summer to allow us to keep going in our install. Thank you. So that, do you feel like you have a good idea of what the freshman, John Steven and Connor, 
can do? I mean, or, or does that not come until a few practices in the fall game? Yeah, you know, the NCAA will allow us to go out and watch them, so I haven't seen them throw a football. That's the hardest part now. I do know that they've been in the, in the meeting room and learning, and I've been, uh, you know, asking them questions about what they know, and uh, they seem to have really picked up the offense fairly well, you know, coming in, in the summer and missing 15 practices. Um, and then actually going out there and doing it. I know Ty and Cole and Dalton and Jack, those older guys were giving those younger guys a couple reps here and there to, to make sure when we got to fall camp they knew what they were doing. Um, but, you know, we'll see. You know, it'll, a lot of, I mean, I literally have not seen Connor throw a football or John Stephen throw a football. And so, you know, when we go out there and pre practice on day one on Friday, you know, I'll get to actually see them throw a football. And so we'll see. I mean, I've obviously watched them on, you know, their high school uh, highlight tapes and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how they do and uh, how they how they learn quickly the technique that I'm trying to teach them in footwork and, and different things like that.